Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Barbecue with Jeff. Today I'm doing a uh, unboxing and first thoughts on the Craycore Cast Iron Grate. Uh, for those of you who don't know, don't follow my blog, quick backstory, I just purchased or just picked up off of Kijiji uh, a used uh, Weber Performer uh, barbecue and uh, the grate on it was just completely, totally trash. It's not fit for anything. So uh, I'll be getting rid of that and I'll be giving it a good cleaning. And I reached out to the guys at Craycore Cast Iron Grates and told them, you know, hey, I'm looking for a replacement grate. Uh, would you guys be willing to send me one and I'll do a couple of videos and do a review? And they said, sure, and they sent me this, so that was really nice of them there. So uh, just a quick backstory on the Craycore Cast Iron Grate. These are things, this is an item that I've seen around for a while. I've seen other people use and it looks pretty cool. It looks like a good product. Uh, their website is cast-iron-grate.com. And they also have cast-iron-grate.ca for anybody in Canada. And you can actually purchase, it will be shipped to you from inside Canada. This was actually shipped to me from, from Mississauga. So they've got some kind of arrangement made uh, here in Canada with some kind of a distributor. Uh, quick backstory on them, I made a few notes here. Uh, quick backstory, uh, they come pre-seasoned from the manufacturer. Uh, they, tell, they, they say on their website, all you have to do is wipe them clean, fire up the grill, and start grilling. Uh, right out of the box. Um, <clears throat> they offer excellent heat distribution where it's cast iron. Uh, if, you've ever, if you've ever cooked with cast iron, you know what I mean. Cast iron heats up, gets real hot, and has a great even heat right across. So that's what the cast iron grates do. So it should give a great, steerhouse, uh, great steakhouse branding is what they say on the website. Uh, the package, it weighs 16 and a half pounds, so it's got a bit of heft to it. Um, solidly made product, should last a long time if well cared for. It consists of four cast iron uh, grates and one ring, so you'll see that now when I crack this thing open and show you. Um, there's four options for the inserts, so it has like four cast iron inserts in the ring. You can also buy on the website a griddle insert, you can buy a pizza stone insert, so I guess you can get four pizza stone inserts and use it like a pizza stone. Uh, a veggie wok, which is also cast iron, and it's just like a, almost like a well, it's just like a wok. It has holes in it, so you can put vegetables and things like that into it. And it also has a chicken seat. The chicken seat is not cast iron; it's metal. And it's for doing like a beer can chicken. You'd pour a bit of the beer, you'd pour a bit of beer into the center and put the chicken on it. Uh, so that's another option out there if you like beer can chicken. I don't. I'm going to show you guys a little bit later on in my in my barbecue, like a boss video series, uh, how to do a spatchcock chicken. I think it's a way better way of uh, barbecuing a chicken than over. Uh, over the uh, beer can chicken. If you follow AmazingRibs.com, uh, Rib Guy or Meathead, I should say, has a really good article on there about how beer can chicken can actually not be very safe. Anyway, that's enough talking about that. Let's get to the unboxing and first thoughts on the product. So, I'm just going to cut it open. And there you have it, guys. It's uh, basically, like it, like it says, a big piece of uh, cast iron. And it's got these little twist ties on to keep everything in place. I'm just going to take this, just a couple off, just so I can take one of these out and show you guys. I'm not going to do it to all of them, because I'm going to be putting this away. And it kind of makes sense to maybe have them all put together. Because I won't be putting this on my barbecue right now. It won't be on until later this weekend, or sometime next week. Alright, so kind of get the idea guys, it's just simply a, a ring with the four pieces of cast iron. It comes with a little, you can purchase a separate little tool that you can use to uh, lift up the uh, individual pieces, the individual uh, grates, and you can add more charcoal, add wood, do whatever. There's a second box here that when they told me they were going to send me a set of grates, they asked me if I wanted to have a griddle and a tool, and I said yes please, so I guess that's what we got here, so let's see, so there we go, a little thank you for your little invoice there, so that's cool, and this is the tool for lifting up the uh, the grid and this is the griddle. 
So I gotta say, this is really well packaged. Um, I noticed on a, on a couple of blogs or on a couple of forums, people complained about the packaging. Um, either they just got stuff that was shipped terribly and the shipper beat it up in shipping, or Trade Court has, has improved their uh, shipping, but this really showed up in excellent shape, uh, no damage, um, really well, you know, quality packaging. You can see all of this paper to keep this in there, so, you know, there were a lot of care in the shipping. You can see, I can see a little tiny piece of rust here where the uh, little piece of of, uh, of wire was on. Not really a big deal. I mean, it's going to rust. It's cast iron, so I'll have to keep I'll have to keep it seasoned as I go. Um, it said in the packaging that it came pre-seasoned. I can see a little bit of seasoning, but it's not really all that. Uh, like it's not coming out of my hand. So before I go to cook on this, probably what I'll do is. Uh, put it on the grate and probably get like a peanut oil or something like that, something that's really good for using uh, on seasoning cast iron and probably put a little tiny bit on and then start a fire and get it nice and hot and you know get it you know get it seasoned a little bit extra before I put anything on here for the first time but uh, once I get going get cooking you know the grease and fat from the food will be doing a good job of seasoning uh, the cast iron grate and then after every cook I'll be making sure to put a little bit of seasoning on. I'm going to check out this uh, griddle and show you guys what that's all about. And that's the grill there. It's cast iron, so you know it's not gonna be perfect. There's a little gouge here, but I mean nothing crazy. I don't know if you can see it there, it's a little tiny not really a chip, you can just see it's not, you know, it's not a perfect cast, but I mean really it's not a big deal. I'm not gonna be cooking on that anyway, so it doesn't matter. One side is smooth and flat, the other side here, like it's a griddle, it has this edge. So, I'm going to lay this here. So, this guy would work kind of like this for picking up, moving around your hot grates. And then, put them in there. And away to go. So, I've got the nice ridges here. I'd use this for cooking bacon, and I'd use the other side here. This would be great if I was making burgers, I could cook bacon on one side and then I can flip it over and I could totally cook onion on this side. Uh, anyway guys, I've been kind of going on a little, this has gone on a little bit longer than I originally planned, but this is the uh, Craycourt cast iron grate. Uh, seems like a great product. Uh, the packaging was done really well, it showed up and showed up with no damage. Um, like I said, it seems like it's a really great product. Hope you liked the video. Uh, don't forget to uh, slap that like button and subscribe. Uh, I'll be having more videos over the next few weeks. I won't have anything this weekend, but uh, hopefully next weekend I'm going to have another video in my Barbecue Like a Boss series. I'm going to do some ribs, so stay tuned for that. Thanks, guys.